everyone, and welcome to our Thumbs Up Thursday today. I have, as always, yes, one, two, lots of things to share with you. <laughs> Don't mind the little voices in the back. <laughs> yes, yeah, so today um, I'm going to show you an upcoming class that I'm doing. It's really a lot of fun. It's very cute. And I'm also going to talk about some special events that we just put on our website and just some other little deals. So today's going to be a lot of fun. And I thank you for joining me today. And how many people do we have on? We have so seven, on. seven. All right. So I'm going to give you girls a few and guys a few minutes to get online. Good morning, Becky. Good morning, Becky. I hope Pismo Beach is nice. <laughs> We're uh, we're nice and warm over here. Of course, I love the warm weather. It's hammock weather. <laughs> okay. Good morning, Colleen. Okay. Debbie and Francis and Liz. Good morning. And Gail. Good morning. <laughs> I like to see all my friends on here. Actually, I have mm -hmm. a question. Yes, you do. Today. You do? Um, mm -hmm. So okay. since it's pretty even with viewership on Facebook and YouTube right now, we've got mm -hmm. 10, 10. Mm -hmm. which platform do they like viewing more on, Facebook or YouTube? Okay. So if you didn't hear, Victoria, she wants to know, do you like viewing us on Facebook or YouTube? Which one works best for you? No. Or Answer, no wrong like, answer. Like just just taking a survey. So you just let us know what works best for you. Okay, Yeah, looks like Facebook is probably going to win out. I think so. Too. Uh -huh. But yeah. um, I did want to tell the girls, though, I will put a, view uh, a video up for them on how to make it possible, but they can get notifications. Oh, Every okay. Time that we get we go live, so they don't uh -huh. miss one. Oh, cool. Um, so I'll, mm -hmm. I'll walk them through that in a separate mm -hmm. video, but just to let them know. Cool. So Victoria, for all of you that struggle with this, is going to show later on how you can sign up to get notified when we're on Facebook and mm -hmm. YouTube, and YouTube, both. Okay. So we're always here to help you, ladies. We just want your life to be easier. That's our whole goal here: easier and happier because we all love to create. And so we have a lot going on. We, um, we have our preview party coming up. We also, you know, have two new events that we've added. And, we're, and I'm going to mention it. We have our best in the show. That's a um, Friday or a Saturday where Kim Huckabee is going to come and tell you all about new notions because we all, you know, we need to make our life easier. And that's why we like to show you these things is just to help you learn what's out there and what is going to help you. If you haven't checked out those glow rulers, those are pretty cool too. So come in and see us. We have, we have fun things to show you all the time. So what I'm going to talk about today is an upcoming class that I'm doing. And this is an Anita Good Design. And what it is, it's a growth chart. They have four designs, I do believe, that they've come out with. The first one was the forest animals and the jungle animals. Then they came out with sea creatures and also farm animals. So we've gotten some really cute farm fabric in the store. So I decided to do a farm themed grow chart. And for those of you that are new to embroidery, this is great to give to your, um, family, friends, but this is our grow chart. So on here, you have all, this is the forest one. You have all the animals. And after you stitch out your little panels of animals, then you're gonna go and you're gonna stitch out the ruler that gets lined up along the side of it. So in this class that I'm doing, you're gonna learn how all that comes together. It will be a two day class. And we will start it at the store so you can learn how applique happens. If you're not familiar with applique, this is a great class to come to because there's a lot of applique and you're going to get that 
in your head as to what the steps are. There's always that placement, that tack down where you're going to trim, and then it's going to go through and do the decorative stitch. So on the farm one, this is the one that I've started. Look how cute it is. So you have, I have a cat, the chicken, and right now a goat. I've started a cow, so I'm going to show you how easy the applique is. So if you're not familiar with the steps, you're going to actually see what those are today. But look, isn't it adorable? I can't wait to get this one done. I have done a farm themed baby quilt and I'm working on another one. So this is going to be perfect to go with it as a gift. So um, what I'm going to do is show you. Um, I don't have a camera behind me. Yes, I do. Huh? OK, so if you look on the screen, can you see? OK, yes, this is perfect. So this is the cow that I'm working on. And right now I have done the white part of my applique. Now it's going to show me where I need to do the black. And then up here in the window, it will always show you what it's actually doing. So right now it's going to tack down my black on the body and on his head. So what I'm going to get is my black fabric, which I just have a long strip cut. And I'm just going to place that right over where I know it's going. Just started her up. And now she's going to tack down the spot on the head and the spot on the body. And it, it'll stitch out exactly where that fabric needs to go. So you're not going to have to guess like, oh, I hope this is the right area. It tells you everything you need to know. Applique is a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. So it's stitching it out. I'm not going to do the whole block today because I don't think you want to sit here forever and listen to me ramble on. But <laughs> I'm just going to show you how easy this applique is. And I also really like the Kai scissors for trimming. So um, if you want to put it back on over here for the front of the machine, I'm going to show how, how easy this is. So I've got, I'm going to make sure you can see. So these are my Kai scissors. They're curved, they're pointed, and when I have to get into a really narrow spot, these work great. And they're, they're easy on the hand because of the curve. So I'm just going to come up here. Now, because I'm using one hand to hold the hoop, I'm not holding my fabric like I usually do. I usually hold it straight up when I'm trimming, but these are sharp enough that they're just going to get right up to the edge. And then I'm just going to turn it around and there we go. I'm leaning as a hoop. You don't want to push on the stabilizer in the center of your hoop when you are cutting your applique out because you'll stretch the fabric and the stabilizer and it's not going to stitch in the right place because you have moved the stabilizer. So I've got that one. Now I'm going to do this other one. <laughs> Brenda says, boy, you're brave. <laughs> <laughs> it comes from years of doing this. <laughs> oh, it is so much fun. I just love these little farm animals. The C one is really cute, too. And um, we're going to put a link online. So if you're interested in doing the class or purchasing the designs from Anita Good Design, we'll have a link on our website so you can go in there and purchase the design. But here is my cow. Look how cute he is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want to do a close up? Okay, we can do that. Uh, oh, yeah, we could do. Oh, on that one? Okay. She's got me going all over the place. <laughs> so there is our little cow. So he's, I still need to add the pink for the face and the bandana because every farm animal on this growth chart has a bandana, which makes it really fun. And here's a close up of the goat. Isn't it cute? I just love him. And there's the chicken. Look at how adorable. They were so fun to stitch. 
And then the cat, because you know, every farm needs a cat to take care of the mice. Mm -hmm. Isn't that fun? We did have a question. Oh, uh-huh. She's those patterns come with no, I don't think they do, but I will tell you, it is very easy to do on your machine. So when you have an embroidery design that has applique that does not come with the SVG, when you go into your inner settings and you choose um, thread colors, choose the embroidery. And then when you come to the applique design, you're going to go into edit on your machine. When you come into, maybe I could show that real quick. That's something to show. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so let's do this camera behind me. So I'll just skip out. I'll go back to the beginning. So I'm going to show you how easy it is. So I'm in edit. I'm in, um, oh, wait a minute. Let me go into my inner settings, make sure my thread color. We don't want Floriani. We want embroidery because embroidery has the magical tool. There we go, embroidery. So. Now I'm back here, I'm in edit. I'm going to go there and it's gonna want me to go down till I get to the one that I want. Okay, this is an applique. So now what I'm gonna do is in my color chart here, I'm gonna come down. Oh, oh, maybe it's not, oh, there we go. Right there is the one with scissors. So if I change that to the color with scissors, that's what your scan and cut is going to read when you take that USB, once you save the design to it, to your scan and cut, it's going to read that cut color that you just assigned to it. It's like magic. So it's that easy to do. You just have to remember, go find all your applique pieces, assign it that color, and take it to your scan and cut. And your brother scan and cut will read it. Okay? If you have any other questions come see me at the store. I'll be happy to help you. So let's go. Okay, I'm going to go back into embroidery. I am going to go to my needle minus plus because this is where I can back up or go forward in steps. So we're going to go back down to my cow's nose. Should be coming up close. There's what the step we just did. And there it's going to show where I need to place my um, pink fabric for the cow's nose. So I am going to re-thread it with some pink thread for his nose. And so when a design tells you it takes so many minutes, it allows you three seconds for threading. Now, you should be doing this often enough that you can do that. Do it with your eyes closed. It's that easy to thread these machines. So there we go. Now I'm going to put the foot down. I'm going to step on the gas and let it do my placement so I know where to lay my pink fabric. So I know a lot of people are intimidated about applique, but it's really easy in these machines because it always will give you a placement. So there's no guessing as to where it gets laid down. Um, there are times where you're going to get so excited about what you're doing, you're going to forget to put the fabric down and you're just going to keep pushing that button. And then you're going to have a funny looking animal because you forgot to put the fabric down. It has happened. We're, we're human. <laughs> so we're, we did the placement. Now we're doing the tack down. I'm going to trim it again. Uh-huh. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Yep. Most of um, your larger machines have that feature. Mm -hmm. He says, we need a classroom. <laughs> also agrees. We do uh -huh. class. <laughs> well, just remember, if you've purchased that machine from us in the store, you can call us up, make a sit down appointment, and we will sit down and show you these things on your machine. Because we want you to use all your features and be happy with it. That's the benefit of purchasing your machine through us is whether you like it or not, we come with the machine. <laughs> you can't get rid of us. Jackie Morton also says, yes, we need a class. <laughs> 
All right, so I have, oh, let me show you the nose. Which one do you have me at? This one? <laughs> so there's the nose on the cow. And now it's gonna do the outline for the bandana. So since it's only doing an outline, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave my pink thread on. I'm using gr our grunge fabric for my cow's nose because it just has the shading to it and it's just too cute. Too cute to not use. So we've done that. We've done the placement. Now it's gonna do the tack down. So I'm going to lay my gingham down and I'm giving the cow a blue bandana today. And then I'm just gonna tack it down and I'll trim it and show you what that looks like. I'm not gonna do the whole applique today. Um, come in the store, come see us and you can see the growth chart in person. But remember, we're going to put a link on our website so you know where to go to get the design. And it's the Anita Good Design Growth Charts. So if you do the search, it'll just take you right to it, all the different ones. And the class will be a two-day class. It is going to be Friday, August 16th and September 13th. So that'll give you plenty of time to get your blocks done at home because you'll you won't get them all done in class, so you'll have some homework. But this will give you time to get them done, and then we'll meet up again, and you'll learn how to sew them together. Because um, matching it up is kind of tricky, and I have secret ways of doing it. So when you come to class, I'll be more than happy to teach you that. Um, so make sure you get on there and sign up. The class is $129 for the two days. And I want to talk about different stabilizers that you can use for this. So right now, this one is just um, a regular batting that I'm using. But there is another line of batting out there if you're not familiar with it. And it's called embroidery batting. And what it has, it has the stabilizer built into it. So all you have to do is hoop the batting. And I wouldn't, don't, you know, cut it to fit the hoop. Just hoop that big old piece of batting and do your block. And then you can trim right up to the stitch line when you're done. So you don't have to use stabilizer in the hoop. Like, um, so today I have power mesh hooped in my hoop. And then it does the placement line. And then I lay my batting down and then I go and trim it. So if you don't want to go through all those steps, you use the RNK embroidery batting that has the stabilizer built into it. It ha it's, has a nice feel to it. It's really great for embroidering on. It just, you know, what technique do you want to do? This is once and done. This is a two step. Well, I guess a three step. So it just depends. The choice is yours. It's we do have it available. So you can purchase it online. You can purchase it in the store. Okay. But there is. Oh, let's do a close up. I want you to see how cute he is. Look how cute he is. He still needs his ears. And there's some spots that are going to go on the cow which I will do all those later. You'll just have to come in the store and see me. And we can um, just ooh and ah over how cute this growth chart is. But remember that one is August 16th and September 13th. And it's $129, it's two days. Uh, you will get to pick your fabrics. Did we have a question? No, we just have the oh. picture up, but that's the yes. Oh, cute. So there's what the cow is gonna look like when he's done, I can't wait. It's, they're so fun. I just could, I could stare at it all day because it's so cute. And um, if you didn't get to see at the beginning, this is how the growth chart looks. Let me see, I gotta go this way. So there's the ruler on the side, whoop, over here on the side, and then you have all these. And you could just get, we have some permanent markers that will mark on the fabric. 
So as the children grow, you can just keep putting their names on. It's really cute. Love it. And these are even cute if you were just to take them and frame them and hang them up in a child's room. They're just too cute. I'd even put them in my kitchen because they're so cute. Yeah. But, um, no, it's um, in store. Um, we really, I don't, you know, so that might be something we'll do down the road, but as of today, yes, it's an in the store class. Um, we like to have our girls in here with us. <laughs> it's more um, personal, one-on-one. -on -one. Yes. Um, also, I want to tell you, and I'm excited about this, Bernina, um, remember I told you we had some events coming up? So we have um, a creative, our, we have two creative events launched. One of them is the Bernina Consumer Convention. They have not come out with a brand new machine since since 2013. Now they've upgraded versions, but this will be a brand new machine that you're going to be able to experience. So that one, the Bernina Consumer Convention is July 12th or 13th from 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. So it is um, $79 to come in and learn everything new. We're going to have Bernina experts here that's going to show you everything. So we'll have lunch and snacks and gifts. And they're even giving away a swag bag when you sign up. So make sure you come in for that one. And I'm going to go over the dates again, July 12th or 13th. It's a one day event, $79. So make sure you get signed up because these things do fill up fast. Um, also, we have an OESD event coming up on June 12th or June 13th, and you'll, everybody will get a goodie bag. That one is $49 to attend, and it's from 9 to 3. So it's, um, you're going to come in, you're going to learn about the stabilizers, and you know, it's always good to come to these things because you always learn something new. They might have learned a new trick and they're going to share that with you. So come in and learn about all the techniques to make your embroidery experience much better and go smoother. Um, and then when you're here, you can also ask questions. So we like we like that. Uh, let's see. So that was the OESD June 12th or 13th and the Bernina Consumer Convention July 12th or 13th. So make sure you get on our website and get signed up for those. Those are all on there. And the Kai scissors that I like to use that I was using today, I'm going to show you over here. We'll go to this camera. I'm keeping Victoria jumping today. So these are the Kai scissors. They are really nice because of that little point. You can get into those little tiny details, which you're going to want to have those for my uh, Luminaire Club class next month because I've got something really cute cooking up there. Um, also, in case you didn't know, we carry the r &K stabilizers. We carry um, different size rolls for different size hoops. So the 20 inch wide one is the widest. That's the one I like to use. Um, not just because I have the 16 inch hoop, but because like for your smaller hoops, you can get multiple hoops out of the one piece. And we have that we sell are the commercial rolls. So with that commercial roll, there's a hundred yards on this. So in the long run, you are saving money. And this one is the 20 inch wide. So like if you're doing five by sevens, there you go. You have three five by seven hoopings right there. So this is a good this is a good size to get because you're going to get more for your money, and the prices aren't bad. And usually, you know, you're paying for packaging and stuff. So if you're buying those smaller rolls all the time because you're embroidering constantly, this is the way to go: is to use your commercial roll. Okay. So if we've got them listed on our website, so you can order online, you can come in the store or call us up and we'll be more than happy to help you. So let's see, what else do I have? Um, I've talked about, oh yes, I almost forgot one of my other favorite things. 
Oh my goodness. This is eye candy, ladies. So this is blooming with Floriani. This is a thread pack. Look at those beautiful colors. Aren't they pretty? You want to show them up close? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yes. Let's show them up close. I mean, I am drooling over this. So I'm going to go from here and I'm going to go over. And you know, the camera is not doing it justice. You have to come in and see these rich colors. They are so pretty. You could actually do your growth chart with this. It's really nice. Yeah, Barbie has free designs with them. Oh, they have free designs. Oh, cool. Uh -huh. Download free designs of the images shown on the box. So all these designs that you see on the box, <laughs> I got her jumping again, are going to be a free download. They're really cute designs. Be cute on tea towels and stuff. And there is some more packages. Ooh, oh my goodness. I'm just like dying over here at these colors. Okay, so I have two boxes. So I have this one. This is their um, tapestry colors. And this is their winter. The winter ones are really pretty too. So come, come in. Come take a look at these because they're gorgeous. The plastic is reflecting off of here, so you're not seeing the true colors, the richness of them. Oh, does this one come with free designs too? Let's see. Yes, they all come with free designs. So make sure you come in, pick up your package, and go download them. These are cute. All right. And then one more, one more box. This is another package of colors yeah if you know oh these are really pretty if you um know somebody that's just getting into embroidery these are a nice little gift for them uh let's see does this one come with designs includes 10 spools no this one doesn't have designs with it but oh my gosh they're like all the colors for birds so cute that would probably be good for the for the jungle growth chart Mm -hmm. question, yes. Asking, are those threads only for embroidery machines? No, you can sew with them. They're a polyester thread. Yeah, decorative stitches. Um, just use your imagination. Applique. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can quilt with them. A lot of people do their quilts. I quilt with them too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Free motion quilting. It's a strong thread, so you can you can do all kinds of things with it. Okay, and do you, do you hear your backseat driver back? Yeah, I have a backseat driver. <laughs> I have my partner in crime. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Veronica here with Authorized Back and So, and Barbie, you just did such a good job on this. What did they yeah. make today? They did a cow. Yes, we're working on the cow. I know you were it's so on cute. Else yesterday. Was yes. Good yeah, uh, well, I, the chicken, the goat, oh, the I got chicken. the goat done too. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, it's so cute. Did they see the goat? Yes, yes. We took it over and showed them. I know it's so cute. Oh my gosh! Now <laughs> I want to change what I'm doing. I, I love the. I do too. Y'all have seen mine, right? I figured I'd. Well, I think you should take it over here okay. to this one and show <laughs> them. Well, um, it's we not been just me doing it. It's no. been a collection. Yeah. I do it. I'll show you like I did. <laughs> <laughs> That's how this works around. <laughs> This block right here was just a lot. Like how cute it is. Isn't that adorable? It's been done. Um, I was working on it at the store one day and a customer came in the store and she said, Oh, she goes, I'm thinking I'm gonna put like a fur going around there, like a like yes. a dimensional mm -hmm. whatever. It was uh I, yeah, it, it was, was Liz. Yeah, Liz I didn't, did I didn't, it. Didn't yes. it anyway, yeah, she outdid me. So now I've got to redo this one. <laughs> <laughs> They're really cute. Add Minky. Um, the one growth chart we have here is made with felt, so there's no limit. Look at how cute that is. I have to do the gator because yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look how cute. Yeah. Yeah. How they're Chocolate. so fun to what make. <laughs> working on this one week because yeah. I'm stressed out. It really it's, helped me. Oh, it's so relaxing. Yeah. Like yeah. If you see me sewing in the store, it's because 
Because she's stressed. <laughs> we have stressed her out. <laughs> look at, no, not you. Um, look at see the little caricatures and stuff too. Like so that's like, that like a little worm or something. Uh -huh. And yeah. uh, one more. This is this is one of my favorites too. Oh, the hippo. Look how cute. Yeah, <laughs> You'll be happy with whatever you get. <laughs> oh gosh, yes. <laughs> Whenever that day comes. Um, this got little guy just stole my heart though. I just thought it yeah. was so cute. And that is so cute. You could even just do this mm -hmm. little guy just even on when I had when my, my grandmother used to make all of my dresses. You can go on. Oh this yeah. Um, before, um my grandmother, I grew up my grandmother made all of my dresses and ever and I've probably told some of you this that like every single dress had to have a butterfly or a puppy oh. dog Aww. and every single dress and my grandmother hand embroidered all of those little things on there and so Cute. i would come to school and i was a tomboy so i would wear it later got worse like i would wear the dresses with tube socks i don't know if it's very light and tennis oh, shoes yes. anyway but the my teacher would always say to me where's your puppy dog today or where's your butterfly today and i would say my grandmother didn't want <laughs> so it would take her. It would take her. My grandmother later found out later it take, took her anywhere from twenty one to twenty five hours to stitch those butter each butterfly or each puppy dog onto my dress. Wow, is that not love? Yeah, okay. that's I mean, love. So, yeah, that's so, we are so, so cool. blessed to have yeah. the, all this technology and be able to. I mean, oh, yeah. sure, the hand is great, but. Mm -hmm. You aren't going to get this done like this. <laughs> no, no, that's for so, sure. Anyway, but they're so cute. We're here, for. We're here to mm -hmm. inspire you and to and to. Um, what are the thumbs up Thursdays for? What are the events for? What are the um, what are all mm -hmm. these classes for? It's because you know when you when you buy a machine, you want to get the most out of it, and that's what our goal is. And Barbie, I know mm -hmm. you work so hard. Oh, I do. It, yes, teaching yeah. the students, mm -hmm. the Luminaire girls and guys. Mm -hmm how mm -hmm. to do uh the my design center mm -hmm. and some of that stuff's not easy to teach no it's not but it's so much fun it yeah is fun. i just want you to get familiar with everything that your machine can do so if it's not for you it's not mm -hmm. for you but there's mm -hmm. lots of other things that are so you know that's yeah. that's what you learn in those classes mm -hmm. um and that's why we're doing this growth chart one of the reasons there's maybe some of you could do this at home but it, it's getting mm -hmm. inspired um and getting mm -hmm. it going you know, that's the whole thing. If you're just sitting oh, yeah. at home, you're not sure, mm -hmm. you know, what you're going to do today. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, it happens to everybody. Like some people say, you know what, I'm just going to get out of the house to, um, you know, maybe go to, yeah. you know, one of the big box stores or wherever, mm -hmm. something to do, right? Well, this block right here, one of these blocks, when I tell you it's a stress releaser is because it takes about an hour. It takes over an hour. If you're doing it in the store and now you're helping customers in, it <laughs> takes a lot longer. <laughs> but um, it takes about an hour, hour and a half, mm -hmm. I would say. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you just go in your room and you just knock out a cute little block. Yes. Like that. Mm -hmm. And that just takes your mind off of everything. It does. Just, your yeah. whole day just, you know, mm -hmm. just starts to get better, you know, because you've accomplished something cute. You've been creative and you're mm -hmm. usually probably making this for somebody. So you're excited about that. And, you know, Come join. Uh, did you tell them about you're having a class on this? Yes, I did. Oh, you already did? Mm -hmm. Yes. What am I doing on here then? Showing your <laughs> cute one and giving me support. Um, I will no, I tell I you, oh, I got yes, you. yesterday I um, had a class. It was a finishing class for a table topper. And just seeing all the different colors that everybody did, it was oh so gosh, inspiring. It was amazing. When I walked in, yes. there, it didn't even look oh. like the same one. No. Yeah, it was really they're, cool. They're beautiful. So you come to class and you get so much inspiration just playing off of one another. So definitely sign up for a class and come in and have fun. You'll you'll I love it. Some of the comments. Mm -hmm. Happy plays. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so true. Mm -hmm. Yes. This yeah. Oh, they were this mm -hmm. one. Yes. 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 Most definitely. Yes. Peggy mm -hmm. says thank you for your hard work. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're so sweet. <laughs> thank you, Peggy. Mm -hmm. We love you. She's taught she's taught classes here before too. Peggy. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, she does mm -hmm. a, she does beautiful mm -hmm. work. So for her to say yeah. that, that's a high compliment. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, so I know why I came on. 
Uh huh. You could go I'm over these. So yes. Excited yes, you about could probably this. give more details. Okay. Mm -hmm. First, I'll tell them about the June event mm -hmm. that just launched. It's um, the OESD Embroidery Essentials event. It's going to be June 12th or 13th from nine to three. So you will come either the 12th or the 13th. I'm not sure if that's a Friday or a Saturday. Um, I think they're Fridays. You only come one day um, and you get this um, little goodie bag that's really nice. Um, and it's going to be lecture demo only. So you don't sew that day, but there's going to be lots of giveaways and door prizes. And Oklahoma, OESD stands for Oklahoma Embroidery. I always get stuck there, but it means embroidery, okay? <laughs> and they have beautiful <laughs> embroidery designs. Oh, they do. Just like a neat oh. good design. They have their own style. They have um, they have all kinds of really cool things, and they'll have a beautiful, we'll have just all, the, this room will be decorated with all these beautiful things. Oh, I can't wait. Because they do mm -hmm. a lot of the, um, they do a lot of tile scenes. They do uh, a lot of lace. Yes, their like, laces. Their lace is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. um, applique quilting mm -hmm. they do all kinds of cool stuff so it's, it's completely different from i need a good design and and mm -hmm. just like i need a good design they come out with brand new designs and collections all mm -hmm. the time so you're going to come see the brand new stuff and um it's really worth coming to um it is only 49.95 yes 49 and they get a goodie mm -hmm. bag valued at 200 dollars. Mm -hmm. big trunk show exclusive projects um Door prizes, giveaways, get signed up right away as soon as you can. I think you can click click on the mm -hmm. link here. Okay, oh, you cool. have it yes. available? Okay, yes. thank, thank you, Victoria. Mm -hmm. um, and then here's another one. I'm so... I know, I can't wait. I can't it's wait. Um, Bernina is... We have Bernina Convention in June. So Ralph and I will go to Bernina Convention. Um, and learn about all the new products and everything that, that, that Bernina has to offer this year. We will then go to Brother Convention and see all the new products that Brother has to offer this year. Uh, Bernina is especially exciting because they are introducing a brand new top of the line machine. Finally, <laughs> <laughs> um, it's going to be a whole new model of embroidery and sewing, I'm sure. Wow. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. I haven't seen it. I'm mm -hmm. not even allowed to tell you what the model number is yet, but there is a model number for oh, it. Oh, wow. That's always mm -hmm. a good sign. Yes. And um, we are going to present it to you. So um, instead of you having to fly all the way to Detroit, Michigan, <laughs> which unless you're a dealer, you wouldn't be able to, um, we're going to bring the consumer convention. We're going to bring the the dealer convention to you here in Fresno, California. So we are going to have Sylvain come here, Sil 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 Sylvain Bergeron. I never pronounced his name <laughs> correct, but everybody knows him as Sylvain anyway. He's very popular in the Bernina uh, community because mm -hmm. he does a lot of, lately he's been doing some really great foot videos and accessory videos and all of that. But Sylvain's going to present the brand new machine on this day oh wow uh-huh and wow. so um it's actually a um it's a one-day event you'll come july 12th or 13th okay one day uh you will it's from 9 to 4 30 because we're not just going to be presenting the brand new machine to you if you're a bernina owner or you've ever been curious about curious about bernina we're also going to be presenting um new accessories so we'll also mm. have sandra swick here and oh. she will be uh, she is a, a bernina specialist and she's going to be showing you all the new tools and and accessories and presser feet and things like that that uh bernina has introduced at our dealer convention we're going to bring it straight to you as the consumer oh, that's okay that's be why exciting. we're calling it the bernina consumer convention convention from 9 to 4 30. um one other thing we also have, speaking of OESD, we will also have Kimberly Dotson here, and she will also do another little trunk show because whenever we have the, so OESD is actually owned by Bernina. So they're probably mm -hmm. holding a few things up their sleeve mm -hmm. that you will see only at this consumer convention firsthand. So um, you'll want to come. Um, let's see, is there a price for it? Yes, oh, yes, it is $79. Mm -hmm. It includes lunch, snacks, gifts, 
door prizes, and so much more. And so one mm -hmm. of the things I'm excited about this year is that um, I'm going to I'm going to be first in line this year. I'm just going to let those dealers know <laughs> I'm going to be first in line. You should be. Uh, because mm -hmm. um, they have this Bernina store where you can shop for like Bernina stuff. Like one year I bought a corkscrew that said Bernina on it. Um, that's only because I need to open up my bottle of wine in my room. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> she did. Yeah, that's the truth. Um, no, but um, I didn't really realize when I first became a Bernina dealer how cool that stuff was and how much you really like it. So mm -hmm. I'm going to go shopping in that room, and that's going to be a big bulk of our door prizes. It's a really good cool. So, yeah, so I'm, I'm jealous. Excited. We'll be handing out some Bernina swag mm -hmm. at this event if you want to come. So it's only seventy nine dollars to come have fun and learn about you know all the new of Bernina. And I'll tell you when Bernina does something. Mm -hmm. As you have seen with their Serger, their oh, LA 90s, their my LA gosh, 50, yes. their 850. Mm -hmm. I mean, they have surpassed everybody in the market. I mean, oh, they, they have, have absolutely the mm -hmm. best Serger on the market. And it was mm -hmm. a long time coming. So it's the same thing with their top of the line machine. They don't just put out a new top of the line machine every two or three years. They wait. Um, and everything's like a lot of it's all like, you know, it's all Swiss precision. It's all, you know, made perfectly. Oh, yeah. Um, like well-made machines. Mm -hmm. And uh, they they will, um, they like I said, uh, Victoria, when did we say the, la the 880 had come out? I think 2013. 2013. Wow. 2008. 2008. Wow, that's a long time. That's, a t that's how long they've huh. been working on this new machine. So wow. if you're not interested in buying a new machine, you still want to come check this thing out. I mean, it's going to be really cool. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, so 2008. So that's two. No, wait, ten. I just Googled it. I think it came out in 20. Ooh, I don't know. It's been a long time. <laughs> so long years. we don't remember. It's been years <laughs> that it's been out. So yeah. actually we That's posted cool. a video on it, I think, mm -hmm. on our Instagram or something like that. So it's really cool just kind of seeing the progression of where Bernina started. Oh, wow. And then where it's, mm -hmm. you know, where it's going to be today at this convention. So July 12th or 13th, um, make sure you get signed up. Definitely. There will be limited seating. Yeah. I'm not going to have, you know, this huge crowd because I just, I can't do them anymore. Um, <laughs> that's why we're splitting our preview party this year because the, the, um, are we splitting it this year? I don't know. Are we? No, I'm always the last to find it. Did I True. That? Good. Yeah. She I dreamt, dreamt that it. one day, <laughs> one day. <laughs> so it's like an evening is what we're doing. Yeah. Okay, or late so afternoon. We four to six. Customers. It's just going to be preview yeah. party. Okay. Four to okay. six. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. So, um, Anyway, get, uh, make make sure you mark your calendars for that too. What's, yeah. what's the date of that? May twenty third. May twenty third. Mm -hmm. It's an evening this time, from four to six. So it's um, light will be out and everything, and we're gonna have you know like evening stuff for food and all. Uh -huh. so it's gonna be good. Oh, let's, let's get, get social. Be <laughs> party. That's our that's our theme this year. So you want to not this year, but this quarter. Let's get social. Yeah. And boy, that's I cool. That yes, right I do too. Yeah. So anyway. <laughs> So come on and be social and come see what our new classes and events are and get signed up. But by watching this today, you're the, one of the first ones to see that we have two new e events that we just introduced to you um, before preview party. Because when preview party comes, everything books out. Yes. So oh, just, yeah. it does. <laughs> it's crazy how many people come for preview party. Everything I love it. Yes. Out. Okay. How about? Oh, yes. Uh-huh. No, you do not need to sign up for preview party. We just we estimate how many people are usually here, and it's it's a lot. And so we overbuy, and whatever we uh, whatever we have too much of in food, we just send home with the employees, and they're happy campers. <laughs> so, our team, anyway. Yes, yeah, it's most definite. We we have fun at preview party. It's a lot of hard work, but it's so fun. Yeah, I love it, and. I'm not donating blood this year. You're not. <laughs> what? The last one I almost croaked. <laughs> we do have a new community um, opportunity for oh you, God. though. So um, when you come mm -hmm. to preview party, you'll have the opportunity to um, to um, make a make another um, cause. Oh, cool. uh, 
mm-hmm. you know, you'll give, contribute to the cause yeah. of what it is. And so oh, you're nice. going to tell yeah. you yet. Yes. We're not going to tell cool. you yet what mm-hmm. it is, but it's all, it's, it's a good one. And um, cool. one near and dear to ABS heart. So, um, anyway, nice. So. Yes. Cool. How about if we tell them what the secret word is today? I thought you said something. No. <laughs> That's Veronica came on. <laughs> so the secret word today is growth. Capital G, lowercase R O W T H. Growth. I love that. Yeah. Since growth we're doing in your sewing. Yeah. Yes. I love that mm-hmm. word. Growth. Yep. You want to keep learning. It's healthy for you. It is. And I fight it. <laughs> I fight it. Um, I try, yeah. but you don't let me. Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> <laughs> end up on top right uh, yeah it's sink or swim and i'm bound to determined to swim <laughs> i'm bound to be first in line at that swag yes that swag room at bernina yeah, <laughs> that'll be cool <laughs> okay hey. make sure you sp- uh, don't do two capital i see a g capital r o w t h so myra or no not myra the one above daniel. that daniel, daniel? yeah make okay. sure you put uh just Capital G R O W T H, and that way you'll get entered mm-hmm. in. Oh, I see Bill yeah. Phyllis and Jadine. No, all our friends. Shirley. Oh, I see all you. Mm-hmm. Jackie. Jackie mm-hmm. Morton. She's in uh, San Jose, isn't she? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Linda Berg. <laughs> Linda, I found pictures oh. the other day of you. <laughs> That's Should funny. I show them? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, get the pictures. Yes. That's all right. Just get your um, word typed in. <laughs> oh, cool. Yay. Yes. I hope you enjoyed um, the growth charts today. They're so cute. Oh, my gosh. Get going. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes, you do. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like yeah. Person. Okay. Let and then we'll show you the picture. I've got some gifts of you, and and, you might, and other people might want to stay and see my dad's old store. Yes. Um, and Veronica. <laughs> oh, I wasn't going to show me. Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> they are so cool. All right, we're drawing. Woo-hoo. Who's going to win? Who's going to win? Slowing down. Who is it? Oh, Roseanne. Roseanne? Oh. Congratulations. Yes. Yes. Has she won before? I think she has. Has she? Wow. Oh, man, y'all better do, mm-hmm. go play that lottery. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> okay. okay. This thing right here, this camera, and then let's see if it. That's so it. cool. Okay. Let's see. Okay. So, this is kind of funny. If you're one of my daughter's customers, um, do you see the pink walls? <laughs> That's my dad's store. They always made fun of me for having pink walls, but it was like that Miami Vice look. And this was our classroom in our store in Tampa, wow. Florida. So this That's is sort of where funny. it all started. And look who's there teaching. Bring the mic over here. Miss Linda Berg herself, <laughs> right there. Uh-huh. Yeah, that was our classroom. That's so cool. This is um, when I first opened my first store. This was my dad's store, and then I opened another store in North Tampa. And this is me before I owned stores. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I so love I that started, picture. No, I was 32 years old, wow. and I, this is a customer of mine and a mm-hmm. friend. Her name is Carol. She was so talented, and she taught at my dad's old store. So when I opened my own store, she came over, and there it was all empty, completely huh. empty. It was wow. just... Yeah, and then um, real quick, let me just, I'll just pop this in there too. This is this is my girl growing up in the sewing machine industry. That's, just, that's an old cute. travel machine. That that's was my dad's store. There. That's Jessica. And then here is Miss Linda Berg right here again, teaching. She said, oh my, Veronica. <laughs> Love it. Let's see. Can you see yeah, it? there you go. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's so cool. Isn't it? fun yeah. i know i was so delighted to see these pictures and look at the stuff hanging on the walls back there oh i know who was that person <laughs> she was a mentor of mine actually oh. Linda, and she took yeah. pictures oh cool I lost contact with her but she was mm-hmm. an amazing mentor for me 
And Linda was too, actually, um, in the sewing world. So mm -hmm. um, anyway, we just kind of all got together and started doing That's things cool. that never, never was offered in Tampa. And uh, it was really cool. It was a very cool yeah. experience for about 11 years before I opened my own stores. Then those things got cooler. And Ralph and I were talking about it today. And, but this store is the coolest. So, Oh, anyway. yeah. I think so. I mean, what you have brought to the table and offered the My girl. girl. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's just that's great. Yeah. Like it's it's mm -hmm. always for me being in the sewing machine world has mm -hmm. always been something that I you know I I was a, I went to school college and I got my teaching degree and all of that but the the community and the teaching community was not the same as the sewing community. And so that's what drove me to continue to work in the sewing community was my customers and my team and mm -hmm. and the friends that I met because mm -hmm. there's just nothing like it. So, yeah. you know, that's why mm -hmm. people say, oh, this is their happy place. Well, mm -hmm. truly, this is a happy place. Mm -hmm. So um, anyway, we yeah. are so glad you join us for that. So anyway. very and congr yes. congratulations. Yeah. And um are you going to, they're going to yep. get going with the growth chart? You told them you're doing a class yep, on it. Doing that one. We're providing mm -hmm. the luminaires for Oh, it. I forgot to tell you, ladies, we're supplying the luminaires so you don't have to haul in your machine. And if you don't own a luminaire, that's okay. We'll supply all the hoops and everything for you so you can, um, you can sew on the luminaire and it's, it's not going to be a problem. Actually, the technique is exactly the same as what you would do on your other machine. Yes. The Never, so. the thing is, it has to be your machine has to take at least an eight by eight hoop for the growth chart. Okay, because so they don't need, have it in different sizes. Yeah, you need so. an eight by eight mm -hmm. hoop size. And yes. if you don't have one, we can help you with that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, We've been happy to share our joy with you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, have a wonderful day. Yeah. Thank you for doing this. And Thank get you. Up. Let's go. We'll see you ladies next time and gentlemen. <laughs>